los invito a... Que dice que odia a sonar ignorante, pero que no sabe mucho, pero que tiene mucho interés de conocer parte de la cultura y que tiene mucho interés también de ir mañana a las pirámides. Eh, la pregunta obligada es por qué Ozzy tardó tanto en venir a México. Why did, did it take so long to come here, here to Mexico? Well, well, as I was saying before we came on the air, it wasn't a conscious decision of mine. I just, I don't honestly know. I mean, I've been getting fan mail from Amer uh, from uh, Mexico and South America for years. I don't, and my wife is my manager, and we, I don't, the business side of it, I don't have anything to do with it. I just do the music side, and so my side's the fun side. I mean, I'll go anywhere. I'm, I mean, I, I'm, I'm so glad before my life was over, I got chance, I got chance to come to Mexico because I really, I really now understand how long people have been waiting to see me and how, what, I, what I have been missing here. Yeah. Bueno, dice que desgraciadamente o afortunadamente él no se encarga de todo lo que son los negocios, es su esposa, su esposa es su representante, entonces que bueno, él se dedica básicamente a la parte de la música, él exactamente no sabe por qué no se había dado la oportunidad de venir, pero que está muy contento de antes de morir poder venir a, a México. Um, this is gonna be uh, this show here in, in, in Monterrey and in Mexico City. It's gonna be very different what you're doing all over the world. No. It's gonna be just the same. La pregunta es que si el espectáculo que va a dar en Monterrey y en México van a ser muy similares a lo que está dando en todo el mundo. Well, every show is got a, a similar layout, but anything. I, I'm not. I'm not one of these performers that re rehearses everything that I speak and everything that I say. If it depends on the audience. If the audience goes crazy, I'm liable to do anything. I mean, there's sometimes I invite them on the stage, sometimes I jump into the audience, sometimes it just goes, it just, just come, come to an Aussie show, let your hair down, go crazy, and we'll have it. It's just like going to a, the biggest birthday party of your life. I want, I want everybody to come to the show and have to say, when they're old, man, I remember one time in my life. At the greatest night when I went to see Ozzy Osbourne, and that's all I want to do. Yeah. Dice que él nunca ensaya sus conciertos, que básicamente no son lo mismo nunca, pero que eh, él, bueno, en sus conciertos la gente se vuelve loca, eh, que él se, también se vuelve loca con la gente, y que a él le gustaría que la gente que vaya a los conciertos, a sus conciertos, pues bueno, se divierta y tenga el mejor momento de, de, de su vida y que va, es básicamente como una fiesta muy grande. This, um, all, um... I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be playing. It's a surprise. <laughs> Está a punto de preguntarle qué canciones va a tocar, pero dice que no quiere decir que es una sorpresa. You're going to invite uh, people. Was asking you just a minute ago. You're going to invite uh, some Mexican people, audience, to the uh, to the stage. We'll see what happens. No quiero hablar nada de, 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 de lo que va a pasar en los conciertos. Le decía que se iba a invitar a gente al escenario. Pero bueno, eso es parte. Sabemos mucho de, la, de Ozzy Osbourne como, como músico, pero ¿qué, ¿qué hay de Ozzy Osbourne como padre y como esposo? We want to know some uh, aspects of your life. We know you as a, an artist, a, a singer, a rock and roll man. But we want to know how are you like father, like a husband. How is uh, it Ozzy Osbourne? Well, the Ozzy Osbourne on stage and the Ozzy Osbourne off stage is two separate people because it's like I, I have two people that live with me the, cra the crazy guy on stage and mm -hmm. I'm having three kids is sometimes I think is being crazy on stage more crazy than being at home with my kids because my kids drive me nuts sometimes <laughs> but I just I just live my life I'm a very lucky man I'm, I'm a very fortunate man I, I feel that I've been blessed with a a gift to make people smile. I just want to make people smile. I want, I want people to have... I love it when I go on the stage and I see those kids having fun. I, that's what I live for, to make people have fun. Because if you, if you, I always think that if you can go to an Ozzy Osbourne concert and forget all your worries and just go crazy for a day, it's great. Yep. Bueno, está comentando que él, él es padre de tres hijos, su esposa es su representante y dice que él no sabe que lo vuelve más loco, si el escenario o la casa con sus hijos. Dice que él generalmente lo que hace es tratar de que la gente esté contenta, que disfrute lo que hace y bueno, una, una muy buena filosofía de Ozzy Osbourne. We want to ask you this uh, new album you're going to get out in uh, just a few days, it's yeah. called Osmosis. Yeah. Es, su nuevo álbum sale en, en unos cuantos días, se llama Osmosis. What can you tell about uh, Mexico? about this? Um, it's a, I mean, I've got a very distinguished voice, and my voice, there's not many people that sound like me, so that, that's, that's a recognizable thing of, of it. But the music itself is, there's some very heavy, 
some kind of ballady, mm -hmm. uh, some psychedelic kind of a stuff. It's it's. I always try and do a different album every time. I don't like to do like uh, a follow up to the last album as mm -hmm. being very similar to the last album. I like to try. I like to change. I have to keep changing for my own head all the time. Yeah. Bueno, está mencionando que este nuevo disco que está a punto de salir a la venta, que se llama Osmosis, pues bueno, es un poco diferente de lo, de lo que había hecho antes, porque él mismo no le gusta repetir lo que hace, dice que hay algunas baladas, hay algo más fuerte. Desgraciadamente nos tenemos que despedir. We're just very glad to have you here. Thank you very much for these Thank interviews. You. Le vamos a dar las fechas de los conciertos. Primero se va a presentar en Monterrey, esto va a ser en el anfiteatro de la ciudad de Monterrey el 26, que es este sábado, y en la ciudad de México se va a presentar el eh, 28, que es lunes. 26 Monterrey, 28 la ciudad de México. Thank you very much. Thank Aussie. you. Uh, we are very glad to have you here. Uh, do you have any message? Do you know Spanish? No. Not at all. Nothing. My, I'm very ignorant. I don't know. I, I don't. I have a hard time with English, though. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to tell everybody, come to the show, go crazy. Bueno, el mensaje que le manda Ozzy a los mexicanos, Patty, es que vayan al show y que se la pasen muy bien. Muchas gracias, Ozzy. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.